Hey Internet, hey YouTube, this is Nate. You can also call me Nathan, please never call me Nathaniel. And we are back again with Monster Train The Last Divinity and some sad music. Um, <laughs> we're going to start up this run. Uh, we, we've done pretty well. We have a two-game win streak. We'll continue with our random random. And uh, just see how it goes. But uh, I mean, yesterday's run, run was really good, the Soul Guard run. Um, so let's let's jump into it and see what we end up with here. Okay, uh, Spine Chief plus Hellhorn. We've got Double Bog Flies, Fledgling Imps, and Total Recall. So the question is, is this build going to lean Imp Heavy? Is it going to lean Charged Echo Heavy? Um, I mean, I'm a huge fan of... Uh, what is it called? The uh, AoE... Ooh. Encased Divinity or Wing Steel? What else do we have here? Uh, let me think. I'm trying to think how many... How, how much we're going to need a uh, in a case divinity versus just getting an extra draw. Draw can be kind of awkward, actually. Like, mid mid turn draw with Seraph the Diligent can be a little bit awkward. I'm going to take the in case divinity. Um, let's see what we get for champion upgrade pass first. See, I, I love Decare. I think Decare is fantastic. But Corruptor is also very, very good, especially with bog flies. The problem is, is that bog flies like just die. <laughs> and if we're gonna play top floor long term, bog flies are gonna, not really in the cards because of uh, top floor divinity just killing them in one hit. Um, I'm gonna try to care. I mean, I love to care. I think it's really fun. I think it's one of the uh, underrated champion upgrade paths. Um, But anyway, let's, uh, I think we can take the boons here. Uh, we're probably going to go Hellhorned unit and then Hellhorned unit. Maybe we take this Wormkin banner over here. I don't think we need spell upgrades. And you could get Endless on Imps. Like, there's a lot of stuff we could do here. So let's just take this and get into it. The first fight shouldn't be too bad. Ten shards is not really a lot of shards, to be honest. Ten armor is fine. We will easily clear the floors. And we've got some chump blockers, so none too worried here. Speaking of a chump blocker, um, still gonna take the uh, play that, play that. Uh, still gonna take the Ember Drain. Uh, I guess we play double chump blockers. I'm not really sure here. Let's go one. Maybe we wait. Who's the who's the one that's hurt? You're hurt. Okay. I mean we're gonna clear the floor. Like we played two spells and we're good. Uh, I think we can put a bog fly in the back. And then charged echoes. Torch. Toss this guy in the bottom. Clear the floor. Okay. This is the uh, this is the scary part. I think we're gonna. Oh, I'd really like to chump block here. It's ten damage. Um, hmm. Maybe we just put a second bog fly out and assume we can. I mean, they're only gonna do like three damage by the time they reach the top. So let's let's picture this. We're gonna have double bog flies, which means very likely minimum. 15 damage each, probably 25 damage each is what I can predict. With 50 each, it's going to be kill, 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 and then we're going to be at, let's see, minus 10 is going to be 22, minus 9, sorry, minus 9 is going to be 13, and then we're going to start hitting him. Two hits, is, yeah, it's going to be fine. So we're going to play Bogfly, uh, Fracture, Torch. And we're good. Full clear. Get rid of the garbage. Uh, fracture. 
And I mean, we're already almost there. Let's see what a torch does. Oh, it's so close, but so far at the same time. Um, crazy. I thought we would do a lot more than that. But all right then. So, oh yeah, you're not killing. Oh no, you are, because it's, it's, oh no, 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 it's not. This guy, this guy lives an extra turn and that's what's killing us here. So if we had torched the front unit or maybe even reaped the front unit, we probably would have done it. But also getting these double train stewards was pretty bad. But anyway, we're going to take 18 damage. But that's life. Sometimes life makes you take 18 damage because of your mistakes. Yeah, just getting the other train stewards out would have also been really valuable, but it's fine. Broken Memories is very good. I will take a Broken Memories. Uh, Hidden Passage. Doesn't really fit the imps. It could potentially fit overstacking if we wanted to do that. Horn Break is also pretty decent. Damage, but it's not infused, which is kind of bad. I think we're just going to skip. Kinhost Carapace is pretty good. I don't really want to... I, we've done a lot of egg builds recently. I'm just going to take the Kinhost. And then what I want to do is put something... I'm not really sure. I, I'm, I'm probably going to put it on something. Uh, it's very good on eggs, but it's also just good in general on things because you get the summon effect. And if you can get double summon triggers, it's plus 20, plus 20, which is pretty good. All right, let's go left path. See what the Merchant of Steel has for us. There's an Endless on an Imp. Um, we cannot re-roll. So that's interesting. Huh. I mean, Steelworker is very good. I'm just wondering if we like make this kind of standalone Kinhost Carapace. At the same time, like having Steelworker on the same floor as these bog flies would be really sick. We could also put Steelworker onto a bog fly. Is that is that bizarre? That might be a thing. I'm not honestly I'm not really sure, but it's definitely interesting. Uh I think first order business might be We could also put Kinhost on a bog fly. Kinhost on a bog fly, Steelworker on a bog fly. And just go with these two bog flies here. The problem is, is that they're not uh, priority units. So they're not going to start in our opening hand necessarily. Let's start with this fledgling imp. Because this seems like just a good setup here. Like infinite fledgling imps is always going to be pretty good. And leave it at that for now. Also, oh, we do have music. It's just taking a hot minute to get started. Let's uh, let's think about this. Start naked floor. This is fine. We play one spell, and we clear the floor. So what I'm thinking is we can go spine chief bog fly broken memories, kin host carapace, and put the kin host up front. It's a thirty thirty unit. In front of the Spine Chief. Or we can even put Spine Chief still in front. Put the Bogfly in the back. Yeah, this seems pretty good. So we're going to go... Bogfly, Spine Chief. Broken Memories. And then I think Carapace. Really don't want this guy to die. That's the only issue. Really don't want him to die. But I think having the Kin Host here makes a lot of sense. Because he just does more damage. You want your damage in the back, normally. Okay, um, Torch. Whoa, we just got a subscription. So, if you're watching, <laughs> thank you for the subscription. Uh, let's prevent future garbage. I'm not going to play the Steelworker. 
There was another subscriber? Wow. So this is a little scary. A little bit scary. Uh, our Spine Chief is not dying, though. And that's a pretty good feature. Spikes is definitely scary. Let's go... Just thinking... If we do Fracture Torch, that might just be better to clear the backliners, and then we just absorb damage. But at the same time, we can go have these. Put a train steward out here. And rage you for fun and profit. Uh, torch. And take that. Probably didn't need to get rid of the sinner's burden, but two of these should do it. Yeah. Well, we actually killed the boss. Uh, Carapace. Coming in hot here. Um, maybe we go two floor setup. Maybe that's the answer. Echo Infusion's great. Especially when it's like the. Ooh, Welder Helper. Okay. There's also the Ascend now, but I think, I think we might go two floors. Because this Carapace is like really, really good on that top floor if we can manage it. Uh, I'm scared to take more units. I think we're just gonna go right path and take the two relics here Grindstone is pretty good. We're not gonna take sketches um, Divine horde Ooh. This could be like a broken echoes chain At least until we run out first help act is not amazing with these two clans. So I think I'm going to take uh, Echo Seedling. And what do we get? Yeah, this is fine. We'll go like 15 health. And then we'll do a coins. Oh my gosh. So we're going to start with a lot of charged echoes. All the charged echoes. Three artifacts. Wow. Three artifacts in one floor. Not bad. So this is pushback Talos. Very important to remember this is pushback Talos. And the goal here is, I think we want Steelworker on his own floor with the imps. And then we put Spine Chief on its own floor, scaling. That kills you. Uh, we could put a train steward here as well to block for a while. Don't hate that. And if we can't put the imps right away, like, so be it. So maybe we can already get a 40-40 unit. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. But then where do we put the bog flies? I think I'm going to wait and get Kin Host on the second round. Um... In that case, let's play this. Oh crap, we got a bunch of those now. Play that. Uh, fracture, I guess. That's not the that's not the spell we wanted to uh, duplicate there. Um, that's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. We're gonna put you here. Oh crap, you're gonna get knocked. Uh, I guess Kinhouse is gonna have to be here in a big way. Play you up front. And then let's just fracture torch. Okay, so we're gonna lose a bog fly. This is the this is the facts of the matter. We can play one though. That then we can yeah, then we can go fracture, that's enough. Um, let's broken memories into echo infusion. Uh, just torch this guy, I guess. Okay. We lost both. Well, that's unfortunate. We can go like this. Torch you. Echo Infusion, Fracture, and kill everything. Uh, nothing here. Okay, Kinhost. 
Where are you, buddy? Uh, let's get the Fledgling Imp in here to die. And then I think Fracture Fracture might just do it. It's certainly going to kill the Backliner. I think we Fracture. Oh, it's so close. We're going to take uh, four damage. But it's fine. And then we want to play um, probably Imp and then Kin Host. Yeah. So we go... Although, Torch Kin Host would be a bigger Kin Host. But I think we just go... I think we want the Blocker. So it's Fledgling Imp. Kin Host. Which is a fat, fat man back here. And then we're just crushing on the top, I think. Yeah, just way too much damage. We can play this. Fracture. Torch. And we would be doing another 72 damage at the end. But uh, we're killing with the Kin Host. So we took a little bit of damage. Five damage. But that's not bad. Uh, Unearth Remains? Yeah? Yeah, I don't hate it. Keeper. Ooh. Oh, man. Keeper is so good. Because we have so much infusion. What would we put onto the Keeper? We put the Kin Host onto the Keeper? Just to give it extra early burst here. I mean, there's an egg. There's an egg thing now. Like... You know what? I'm gonna do the egg. I'm gonna do the, the chrysalis because the the and we're gonna take capacity. And what I'm gonna do here is um, right path. I think. Uh. Oh man, now I don't know. Because we get unit upgrades here as well. So my thinking is we put we put Kin Host onto Bog Chrysalis. And it's going to get plus 20, plus 20. And we're, and we're going to hatch this thing first turn. Like every time. Every time. Because we have so many charge decos at the beginning. And we have a charge deco that never goes away. Um, it's a really good target for Echo Infusion. And we're going to then get two Bog Flies that are going to be like super sick. Right? Then we put Steelworker up there. And Steelworker is the sustain. We put Steelworker onto itself. And we just sustain. And that's our top floor. And then we have an imp floor with these two bog flies. Or whatever, right? Like bog flies. And then we just scale them up infinitely between uh, the imp and the imp. Like that's my theory right now. And if that's the case, we might need to go right path just to have enough units. At the same time, I feel like we have time. So I'm going to go left path. I'm going to yeet. Train stewards. And we are going to currently... Uh, the kin host onto the, the bog chrysalis is the most important fusion right now. Uh, however, oh my gosh, intrinsic spell chain on broken memories is way too good to pass up. So there's all of the upgrades we needed. <laughs> but we're going to dupe, um, what are we going to dupe? I think we're going to dupe Steelworkers for now. We can get one up top. We're going to continue to go to care. The care is our AoE. Uh, the eggs are our burst. And this is fine. This is fine. There's even like a bottom floor play that we could potentially do here. But it's I think it's unnecessary. So we go... Yeah. We go one, two... Infusion. Unearthed Remains. Oh, crap. I should have done Broken Memories first. But we got Unearthed Remains back. I don't, I don't know. That was kind of a... 
That was not the way to play that. Let me just say it that way. Um, you gotta go here. You gotta hatch. Do that. And eggs alive. Okay. And I'm just hopeful... Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. I'm just hopeful... That... Uh, we'll be able to kill enough things that we're not just gonna get wrecked here. I mean, this was... That was kind of scary. That was kind of scary, to be honest. Um, let's go with... Total Recall. And... Broken Memories. Into Broken Memories. Into Fracture. We're taking 12 next turn, potentially. Uh, we're gonna take a hit here. We're gonna take uh, 24 damage. But that hopefully is all the damage we're gonna take. It's, I'm just nervous about this floor. Like this floor scares me. Play you here. So broken memories into fracture. Broken memories, broken memories. Single fracture. Single fracture. As I said, this is the part that scares me. We do have Double Torch. Which does not keep us alive, but it does keep us slightly healthier than we were before. Uh, I think this guy's gonna just kill us. I mean, we're gonna be able to get a lot of uh, Echoes, which is good. Let's go... I mean, second bog play doesn't really matter anywhere. Um... Broken Memories. And then... I think I just need to fracture this guy down here. We can't have them there as well. I mean, we already have problems. This guy's gonna hit us like a truck, but... Play this. Play this. And, I mean, I don't know. I think we're, I think we're dead, but you never know. Yeah, we're just totally dead. Not even close. Okay, let's try this one more time. I think there's a I think there's a way to do this fight. And we might need to play on the bottom floor. Because a lot of the things are just getting too strong over time. The biggest problem is like this opening turn, we take a lot of damage. But you know, that's life. Sometimes you take a lot of damage. Let's go. Ah uh, yeah. Play bottom. Play this. Play this. Play this. Play this, play this. Broken memories. And I mean this guy's gonna die. Which is good. Again, the problem is that uh we just lose. <laughs> oh man, how do we do this? We have to play top floor, but I don't know I don't know how we can I Gotta think about this one. So we play top floor and then echo Play you. I mean, this is a lot of charged echoes. The problem is, is that we have to actually kill things. Let's build up charged echoes on other floors. Play you here. And leave it like that. Okay. Then, play egg. Uh, let's build up charged echoes down here as well. This might have actually just been bad to play all this out. Uh, let's get rid of you. This is what I was worried about. So, uh, broken memories. Keep one. Fracture. You're gonna heal yourself. Uh, fracture. And get the train steward out. Yeah. Okay. Just gonna pick off as many people as we can along the way. So play you here. Broken memories into itself. Broken memories, broken memories. Fracture. Uh, 
okay. Well, let's try playing this. We can fracture you. Give us more HP. Torch you. Broken memories into Echo Infusion. Broken memories into Fracture. And that's it. Okay. So again, we're dying. Actually, no. We can Echo Infuse out of it. Ah, we can't. We're still not there. Uh, even if we can, I'm still not 100% convinced this will work. But we can kill both these guys, and that's certainly something. Second bog fly just immediately dies, but you know what? Yeah, I think not being able to fracture him makes this basically impossible. It's a lot better though, a lot better. Uh, but I think if we had if we had the spine chief, I think we kill him by fracturing him down. Maybe we don't play. Maybe we don't play. Um, Broken memories at all. We play Unearthed Remains and that's it. And then we just leave it like that so that we don't get all the garbage. That might be the play. Play you here. And... <sighs> it's not enough. We actually gonna let these guys hit us? Are they just gonna kill us? It's gonna be a lot of damage, but I cannot take more damage is the problem. So we have to kill this guy at the top. That's mandatory. But then we are gonna get hit pretty hard later on. Yeah, we can't we can't survive that. Okay, so we have to play Broken Memories, but I don't know I don't know how we're gonna do it. It's the problem. <laughs> I guess we just play one, and that's it. But yeah, this is already, by the way, this is already a, a loss. Play this. And bring back one, and that's it. It doesn't work. We have to play, we have to actually build up charged echoes on the other floor. I think this is something that we didn't do so well this time. So we can play, we play you, play you, play this, play this, play you, and you're full now. So now we play one here. And that's it. That should be enough with the two. Yeah, so let me play Egg. We do Fracture. Broken Memories into Broken Memories. And that should be good enough. Okay. Um, fracture. Fracture. Broken memories into one broken memories. We could also do an unearthed remains. That's definitely an option I should be thinking about. Um, I mean, we'll play you here. This is already looking a lot better, though. We're saving a lot more health than we did before. Uh, okay, so now we're gonna... Broken memories into... Yeah, broken memories again. Uh, total Recall. Uh, 
Um, 137. We need to do one thing up here. I guess we can torch him. Or we could just kill him. At the same time, like, I can kill this backliner now. And that might be better. What are we gonna get? I mean, there's a pretty good chance we can kill both. So let's just go like this. This is the healthiest we've ever had Spine Chief so far. So we go... you? Torch. Broken memories into broken memories. Uh... Bog fly. Broken memories into... Fracture? So close. Taking 12 damage, but that's not bad. So we just need a torch. A torch does it. We got a torch. So torch you. And... Torch. Fracture. Broken memories. Into... Maybe even unearthed remains now. Or uh, maybe, uh, yeah, unearthed remains is fine. Okay. Play you out. Play you. Broken memories into broken memories. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If we can get enough charged echoes, we might actually get the kill here, though. So we go broken memories into broken memories. Broken memories into broken memories. Broken memories into broken memories. 81. 120. 474. Ah, we're just not going to be able to get it. Yeah, it's just not possible. Um, I underestimated how crappy my units are. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I mean, the other thought is I could put the Steelworker up front to absorb the hits. But, I mean, this is like, this is a ton of charged echoes, and it's still, still just not enough. And I don't know that we're going to get any more than this. Yeah, we just don't have... We needed we needed unit upgrades, and we just never got it. Maybe putting Steelworker on Steelworker would have been better before we got rid of the Carapace. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to take this loss. Lose our streak, unfortunately. And uh, we'll start over. We'll start over. There's definitely a win possible in this run. I think the other thing, too, was taking the multi-strike was very ambitious of us. Without the multi-strike, we would have been a lot healthier. We could have survived a lot better. Okay, what do we got now? Another <laughs> another Penumbra run. Okay. Penumbra with uh, restores. Okay. Do we have any stings? We have no stings. Uh, take uh, lifesteal. That's fine. Okay. Glutton and Monstrous. Um, and Monstrous is kind of the default, but... I have been trying to make Glutton work. I mean, last time Glutton basically didn't do anything. <laughs> had had no real value. Um, <clears throat> so we'll just go Monstrous. And with Monstrous, plus the fact that we have making a morsels and a ton of restores, um, plus all the lifesteal, like, I'm, I'm fine taking this. Even the two lifesteal by itself is the two floors. Like, it's fine. So we'll take some damage, kill the floor, heal, take some damage, kill the floor, heal. And in that time, we should get enough value to keep ourselves nice and healthy. Um, put you there and give you a morsel as well. Mm -hmm. It's about as perfect as it gets. We can go like this, pop you. Uh, I think we just want to give you some regen. 
And we're able to clear all the floors pretty easily here. I'm just wondering, where do we want Ember Forge? I think we want Ember Forge on the bottom here. Play this out. And you're just gonna die. I guess that's fine, you can die. Pop you. Play two here. Get a restore in. And we should be absolutely fine here. We have uh, our man upstairs just crushing it with all these uh, morsel miners. <clears throat> cool. So clean ring one. Clean ring one is always good. Another making a morsel, probably excessive. Uh, the perils thing, actually perils is pretty good against chase. We could try to pivot into like an em ember drain build, ember drain package build. Love razor sharp edge here. And I'm just thinking like, we go what, two floors again. Woken banner. Let's see what we get out of this shop first. Quick, okay. That is a Husk Hermit. He is certainly a Husk Hermit. Is he better than an Awoken Hollow? I think I actually take the Hollow here. Because it's a really good, uh... It's a really good, like, we put this with something else. Heal it a bunch. With all of our restores. Make a sweep unit, like, really big. Kinda like that idea. Yeah, let's start with that, and uh, we'll go from here. This is fine. Again, we can play you up top, and 40 will kill a lot of things. So we can play you here, and you don't die. We can play you here, do a restore. And then play Penumbra up top. Penumbra will not die. Which is good for us. And he is clearing the floor. That's fantastic news. And I think the uh, the Cultivate is going to be more important right now than like buffing up Penumbra. I mean, even like right now, like we're already net gaining health. And uh, play you here. Lifesteal is fantastic. And it doesn't, none of this really matters. Just hit him a couple times. How are we looking? I mean, already this is not bad. We're not going to kill the backliner. But our uh, Penumbra single hit kills. That's always a good sign. Excellent. So now we just need a sweeper. Space Prism is fantastic. Uh, second Razor Sharp. Animus of Will. Um, Animus of Will versus Shattered Shell. I think Shattered Shell is going to be better. But man, Animus of Will is like really good. But I think we need the sweep. So we're going to go sweep. Um... And what do we get out of this path? Hopefully, Multistrick. We could put Endless on the Hollow. If we're worried about it dying. But I feel like we need to find other ways. Uh, Endless on Shattered Shell. Is also something. Because we could... If we put Endless on the Shattered Shell... It means that if it dies to, like, spikes or whatever, or sweep, we can just replay it again later. I think both are not good, though. Let's reroll. Plus 10 in spikes is great. Large stone on this is also not terrible, but I think I'm going to put large stone on the Ember Forge and just keep it in the middle floor. And that's it for now. We're going to hold out for multi-strike. That's also AoE. 
There's also a play where we put... No, 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 no. It's Shatter... I mean, it, it does give Slay Triggers, but it's like... We could put Gorges on <laughs> the <laughs> Everforge. <laughs> no, we're gonna we're gonna skip here. Would be really funny, but we're not gonna do that. And we'll take a divine artifact. Chain of Gems is pretty good. Light's Gift is also pretty good for Penumbra Floor. I think we take the Light's Gift, and then Penumbra is just clean up, trample clean up. Get rid of a train steward. Kind of. We will eventually get rid of a train steward. Alright. I think we're good. This is a very interesting setup. We might get rid of all the shade splitters and just keep the morsel miners. So play you. Oh, the lifesteal. I was like, how is he getting so much health? I mean, I'm not complaining. I just don't understand it. But now I understand. It's all very clear. This lifesteal is actually insane. Uh, if we do this, he gets even more health. I like this setup. We just need tools to keep Penumbra alive, and then we're in the clear. Uh-huh. Uh, again, we can pop. Hmm. We do that because we want to get the slay. Oh, the spikes. Spikes are killing. Yeah, should have thought about that. It's fine, though. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, we cannot fit our fat Ember Forge. You know, well, life's tough. Sometimes you can't fit your fat Ember Forge. Let's increase capacity up top. So we can get double morsels going. And then I think the uh I think just getting more regen is probably the play here. It's plus four plus four onto the shattered shell. And then also heals. It's pretty good. This is also pretty good. And how are we looking? It's not bad. Not bad. Um, we can give you more damage as well. Not a lot more damage, but certainly more damage. And then this should be... I mean, Penumbra's gonna crush. It's way too strong. How the heck did this... Uh, oh, that's right. He's, uh, he's buffed. I was like... How did the steward get so fat? Uh, but I get it. I get it. And we can heal him up so that he'll get one more hit in. 50 damage, not bad. And then two hits and we win. Cool. Very cool. There's Furnace Tap. We just need holdover and uh, <clears throat> consumer move, and we're good. Uh, so we could put we could put this onto the husk hermit instead to make it thicker. I'm also I kind of like putting the animus onto the shattered shell. What are we gonna get up here? We still have a little bit of a ways. Uh, can we hold on to an Animus that long? I think so. So many priority units. It would be three priority units. Are we going to be able to remove here? We can remove if we go left path. But then we miss out on an artifact. And I don't know what we're going to do with spells yet. I get, Oh no, actually we are going to go spells. So let's take the Animus. Let's take the Animus. Let's um, increase capacity first. Go left. 
remove two train stewards. That balances out a little bit. We might even remove a third one. We'll see. And then we really want holdover. I don't think I want to do the permafrost. I think I want to make um, razor sharp edges free. I don't mind plus 10 on a vine grass, but that's okay. I don't think I want permafrost on furnace tap. I want to save for better stuff. I'm gonna consume remove, and we're gonna we're gonna beeline for spell upgrades again. I don't really think we need to spend the money there. I'm thinking we might need to take this so that we can go spell. Also, like unit upgrades, right? At some point. So we're gonna end with unit unit. I think we're gonna take the next spell upgrade and removal as well. So we're gonna take this. And go monstrous. Maybe I should have switched into glutton. Would glutton two plus monstrous be good? Uh, no, because of the AI. Yeah, I think I think this is fine. non boss enemies restore all health when moving up floors. This is very scary. But sure, what the heck? <laughs> Why not? I'm not worried. Um, we only need plus 10 HP. Or plus 10 damage. Uh, let's go... We just furnace tap now. Get Ember Drain and kill everything for a while. I mean, that would kill everything for a while. One, two, three, four, five. Uh... <laughs> that's that's pretty insane. All right. <laughs> it does the job for a while. Uh we can ember drain in order to get I'm making a morsel out. But I think this is Okay. Well. Let me think here. 13 kills you. We can play this. Out. Uh, razor sharp. As well. Obviously this guy poses a huge risk for us. And, okay, so, if we can hit, we're going to hit like a truck. Healing does not do anything. Oh man, if we could somehow have found a way to let him uh, lifesteal, that would have been sick. But as it is... Two, nine, nine. It really doesn't matter how we do this out. So I guess we might as well give him some damage. Uh, play this up top. Play you. Yeet. Yeet. And something like that. All right, if we put you, you die. Let's try it starting with just this. 325, he can hit three times. We did it. <laughs> okay, well that was obviously not the normal way. Oh, hello, my Jax. Um, that was not the normal way you want to play it like that, I don't think. But it did kind of work. It did kind of work. Um, Unleash the Wildwood is pretty fantastic here. We'll take it. Holdover on Unleash the Wildwood means we're never going to worry about death problems. But we also, actually not even holdover, we're just going to thin out the deck a lot. Probably get rid of all the Shade Splitters. 
Start with train stewards, and then start eating shade splitters. And holdover just makes the world go round here. Fantastic, we got it. Holdover on perils of production. And suddenly, everything's looking a lot better. Let's start making restores cheaper. Spell chain would be insane. Oh my god. <sighs> Game. Okay, uh, piercing is unnecessary. Let's merge now the animus of speed onto the shattered shell. What is your essence? Plus one per turn. It's complete. We're probably just going to eat that guy, but anyway. We would like something on the Animus. You know what I'd like is the uh, Edge Prior. Then he just heals the floor as well. I'm going to go all in on a Gift of Gratitude here. We're going to be able to do a Spell Chained... Um, a Spell Chained... Perils of Production. Maybe also with some Ember Cash stuff. And that could be really strong. Let's get plus 10 onto this Vine Grasp. And just minus one onto another. Uh, are you onto the Ember Cache? No, 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 no. Unleash the Wildwood. Okay, so that's all the spell upgrades we're going to do. And we're just going to thin. Now it's about thinning the deck. Uh, this is fine. Armor's fine. Penumbra can clear out whatever they can't clear on the bottom floor. So play you. Play Penumbra, go heal, heal, and then just get big. Get big, friendo. Vine Grasp, coming in clutch. Double Perils. And I think we just play this now. 160 coins is pretty good. We are probably going to Furnace Tap our buddy up top. But let's see how it goes. So we could actually dupe the Shattered Shell, potentially. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to increase capacity up top. This is where we're going to gorge. All right, this is where we need Furnace Tap. Oh, you'd love to see it. Get our man in there. Get you in here, just to be big and thick. <laughs> and we're gonna take a little bit of damage, but I think we're still getting the full clear. We are. So let's start pivoting. Let's play this. That's really good. Let's start pivoting now into um, putting Rage onto our Sweeper, I think. Although, actually, I don't even know, because I don't know how many hits we can take with, uh, how many hits we could take with a hollow here. Maybe we need to put everything onto the Primordium anyway. I mean, he is, he is hitting hard. Okay, so let's go more rage onto you for now. Let's see. heal, heal. We're only getting a couple of hits and then spikes damage. Just keep putting stuff onto you. But he did die, or he did lose his stealth, I should say. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, not even pretty sure. Like, we're gonna we're gonna beat him. We have way too much damage here coming out, and we can even get furnace tap a second time potentially. Potentially, no dice, but still crushing it. I mean, our guy's hitting for 175 by two. Void binding is great. Yeah, absolutely. It fits. It fits. Um, I think an end snare might be okay. I think uh, let's just skip. We want to thin the deck out. Thin the deck to morsel miners, and then even then we might eat the morsel miners by the end. 
What would we want to dupe here? We could dupe the perils. I think we want uh, removal and potentially artifacts. Continue to yeet out shade splitters. Oh, this is fantastic. The root does what I wanted to do with the root anyway. And that's it. I don't think we have anything to combine. Uh, we could get minus two on Furnace Tap. That would make it much easier to dupe. Just a one cost Furnace Tap that we can play occasionally. The other option is to get minus two on the Void Binding and then double stack it or stack stone it. Uh, we could also Intrinsic Furnace Tap. But I don't think that's very good. I think I'd rather just. Uh... So, Stack Stone on Furnace Tap is incredibly strong. But Stack Stone on Void Binding is also. Oh, wait, we're not gonna go Spells though. We're gonna go Steel. Uh, maybe we go Steel and then Merchant of Magic. Yeah, I think we just do this. I think we just do this, and then... Fell. Um, and I, I'm just, I'm trying to think what we're actually going to put onto the Shattered Shell. It might very well be Large Stone, honestly. So play you out. Oh, you're dead? Oh, that's not great. Well, Pernumbra, it's all on you. <laughs> I guess we can put Shattered Shell on the same floor if we want. We can't until we can increase capacity. We can put Shattered Shell here, though. That's okay. Give you this. Uh, play this here. Okay. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, it's all in on... Penumbra at this point. Yep, it's the Penumbra show. <laughs> at least for this particular fight. I mean, the nice thing is, is that he's going to get like crazy thick here. And because they're dazed, like, we're, we're in really good shape here. Not to mention all the damage we're doing to Fell. Uh, this is fine. Just keep hitting you. Mm -hmm. Just got to get back into that Furnace Tap. I assume we'll get it at least once. But, I mean, Void Binding also, like, we're at four. He's going to hit us three times in a row. Uh, currently, we're doing 400 damage per hit. He's going to get dazed, or she's going to get dazed. Um, we are guaranteed to get Furnace Tap before the end here. It's going to take one, two, three, and then, yeah, yeah, we're good. I mean, we're, even without the Furnace Tap, I think we're still winning. But then with Furnace Tap, it's just guaranteed. Now we're doing 600 damage. And we get basically two free hits. Yeah. Actually, we might not have won. It might have been, might have been a very different story if we'd uh, not had the second Furnace Tap. But we were guaranteed it. Still worked out in the end, though. Still worked out in the end. Um, spreading spores is actually pretty good on our one unit. I just don't know if it's worth. I, I mean, the, the fact is, like, just getting furnace tap more often is gonna be the best thing for us. I, so I think just thinning again and 
creating more draw. And we can start playing Penumbra on the middle floor. No, 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 we want Penumbra on the top still. Maybe we play the others on the middle floor instead. Definitely gonna go unit upgrades. Artifact, Jack Strips is great. Yeah, we play the others on the middle floor. There's Multi-Strike for the Shattered Shell. It's very good. Uh, I don't mind giving you spikes as well. And I think just damage. Oh, Large Stone. Large Stone's great. Okay. Really, really good. Might even purge a card. What do we get out of you? There's the other minus two. So then we can stack stone the Void Binding. And that also gets us our shard count. Although we will get it if we duped the... Uh, um, we would get it anyway if we duped the... Uh, what am I trying to say? The Furnace Tap. But now Furnace Tap's only going to add like an extra 10 shards, which is perfectly fine. This is, this is good. We're killing most things with the sweep before they even have a chance to hit us. Uh, so let's play you. Space Prism. That. And start with you getting more damage. Okay, so sweep's gonna be huge here. Uh, also, just hit ya. And can we handle three Ember Drain right now? I'd like to be able to handle three Ember Drain, but I think I think we're okay to wait. There's no there's no rush here. Fantastic. And, you know what, actually, I'm going to pivot. I'm going to pivot and start playing it on you instead. Could have done that in a little bit different order, but it's fine. Play you here. And try to get this uh, Shattered Shell to be huge. Oh, whoops. Um, you're fine. Play this here. I mean, already the Shattered Shell is huge. Oh, love to see that. This is looking really good. For the uh, Divinity fight, like, this is the kind of scaling that we're going to need. And getting that uh, Unleash the Wildwood occasionally is going to be massive. There's the other Furnace Tap. Having a second Furnace Tap as well. Pretty big. And just, again, crushing. Absolutely crushing. We didn't give our man void binding hair, take no damage. <laughs> Amazing. Cool. So that, that was really smooth. That was really, really smooth. We don't need any of this. There's other spreading spores, but we don't take that. Focus growth, though, to get more draw. I like that a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's really good. So now we want we want stack stone for the void binding. Any type of draw here would be really good as well. Oh my gosh, fantastic! Stack stone on void binding. Uh, let's make focus growth cheaper. Let's check artifacts now before we re-roll. Uh, don't really love any of this. There's wing steel. We need more draw. I, I think draw becomes very, very important. Um, I don't believe lightstone casing makes sense because we just don't have the money for it. Uh, I think we are gonna now. It's gotta just be furnace tap. It's so strong. It's so strong. 
And I think we could even take a relic or an artifact here. Just thinking if we need it. Because if we don't need it... Faulty loader... But the first first wave is not scary. First wave is not scary. I think we just uh, remove cards, actually. We can remove three cards, I think. 60, 90, 120... No, no, no. We can only remove two. But getting rid of the both shade splitters just to like have a more consistent draw is really valuable. We have 80 left. We can put consume on nothing. Just leave it like this. Now it's the big question. Artifact or no artifact? Oh man, it would add, it's, it's only, in, it's not getting us into critical state here. Wing technology means that we can play Penumbra on the top floor and the morsels won't die. That's pretty valuable. Yeah, yeah. I'm actually happy with that. That we can actually gorge with uh, Penumbra is good. We could also change, like we could, we could decide to play Penumbra middle floor and play the hollow top, but I think the damage on the backliner is going to be too much. So let's go you here. You here. Now I think if you die, we lose the plus five. Is that That's how it's working, right? Oh my gosh. Those are really good. We could play this here. It's six Ember Drain immediately. It means we can't play the Sweeper. Yeah, we, we have to play the Sweeper. So we're just going to play it like this. And half of it goes away anyway. So now we play you. Play this. This is very, very strong. And honestly, at this point, I think we can just afford him. Uh, Furnace Tap. You're going to kill this guy anyway. Yeah, we're good. Okay, we got to get more damage. That is enough damage. Crushing here. There was an unplayable spell. And now we finally have our rage. And we can go nuts. It's not even about the rage. It's just about sending a message. No, um, it's about... Oh, crap. My mistake. Uh, increase capacity. Hit a dude. It's about getting the multi strike. That's really more than anything. That's why these razor sharp edges are so good because they basically nullify the uh, chase effect. We have all this raw damage that's not related to rage at all. You get like turns like that, which are just nuts. I think Void Binding probably goes still on you. In the future, it, we're gonna pivot that. And instead of going on to uh, the Hollow, it would go onto the Shattered Shell to get the Rage. But for here, uh, maybe not even though. Like, it might actually still just be this, this is the best play anyway. And Seraph is in for a world of hurt here. Um, now we can start just stacking you with Rage and Damage Shield. Multi Strike 7. Yeah. And just crushing here. <laughs> and that's how we do it. That's how we do it. Um, the nice thing is, is that like Penumbra's got enough health to withstand top floor divinity for a while. We're guaranteed to get the sweeper in time. 
to hit the first floor. Not starting out with any furnace taps is fantastic. And Perils of Production is fantastic. Yeah, this is this is an insane opening hand. Wow, okay. So play you. Play this. Play this. Restore, focus growth. Play you out here. I mean, you're good. Like, you're going to last for pretty much the rest of the fight. Um, scariest part is the... Uh, is spikes and that's where um getting the void binding is going to be extremely helpful play this here i don't think we need to do anything with uh okay play you void binding perils Play both of these as well. We could even chump block with them if we wanted, but I think just playing like this is fine. Give you more stats. And pop. Pop. Okay. We should get... We did not actually get... Uh... There we go. Furnace tap. Fantastic. Pop. Pop. And good luck. We're all counting on you. I don't know if that was good. <laughs> Part of me thinks that was not a good play, putting that guy there, but let's see how it looks. We're still crushing. We're still crushing. Oh my gosh, double furnace tap. Yeah, 152 times 5 is going to be enough to kill the Disciple Protector. Okay, uh, you're still fine. Still good up there, Penumbra. Keep growing. Still want to play this here. Um, if we can. Later, I might pivot to the top. Like, one, unleash the Wildwood up top. It's pretty good. But for now, this is just fine. Actually, we might even get the kill early. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get the kill. Uh, not even pretty sure. We're going to get the kill next uh, turn here. We're going to even get... Yeah, yeah. We're, gonna, we're just going to kill next turn. And so then the question becomes, do we want to like try to kill this conduit? He is kind of a jerk. He'll die to spikes, maybe. Oh, whoops. I have this problem where I like to cultivate my morsels. It's, uh... <laughs> and then you just completely insult them at the end. That's that's the way I like to do it. Extra furnace taps. And we end with 265 by 7. 265 by 7 damage. Well, that makes up for the first run. Wow. Yeah, I pivot into Ember Drain package, man. It's it's strong. Like it's what makes Umbra so good. It's Shadow Eater is what makes Gorge work. Overgorger kind of as an essence seems okay, but um yeah, it's Shadow Eater Robot's actually been pretty good recently as well. I think the robot, the fact that you can put the robot on the robot is really good. And then, yeah, just like... <laughs> Ember Drain Package. Super good. And with that, this has been Nate. You can also call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Hope you guys enjoyed the runs. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.